Today, we'll be going through how you can program your Bell Satellite TV to work with your IR or UHF remote with three key steps. Completing a power scan, programming your remote, and if needed, changing your remote's frequency. All of these steps require that you start with your TV and receiver turned on. First, we'll go through how to perform a power scan with your IR or UHF remote. Press and hold the TV mode button for five seconds. The nearby buttons labeled SAT, VCR, and AUX will turn on and off again. The red TV LED light will flash. Press the power button. Now continuously press and release the up arrow button until your TV turns off. This step may take up to five minutes. Once your TV is off, press the pound sign button. Your remote should now be programmed to control your TV. Now, press the power button to turn your TV back on. Press and release the SAT button in order to control your receiver. To turn your TV on and off, press the small red TV button. To turn your receiver on and off, press the big red power button. Those are the steps that should have helped you perform a power scan on your TV and receiver using your remote. Now, let's go through how to program your IR or UHF remote to control your receiver. Programming your remote, and if needed, changing your remote's frequency. To access the system info screen, press the system info button on the front of your receiver. You might need to open your receiver's front panel door to find this system info button. Click the SAT button on your Bell TV remote. Then, press the record button twice. Your remote should now be programmed to control your satellite TV receiver. Press the cancel button a few times to return to live TV. If your issue is not resolved, let's try changing your remote frequency. Start by pressing and holding the SAT button on your remote for five seconds. The nearby buttons labeled TV, VCR, and AUX will turn on and off. The red or green satellite LED light will flash. Enter any two-digit number from 01 to 16. The red or green satellite LED light will flash twice again. Press the pound sign button. The red or green satellite LED light will flash three times. Click the record button to save the code you entered. The two-digit number you programmed can be found on the system info screen in the remote address section. To return to live TV, press the cancel button a few times. If your remote is a 6.4 model, you will need a UHF antenna on your receiver. Also, make sure that the bottom tab of your remote is on the UHF Pro side. To change the remote tab to UHF Pro, first remove the battery cover. Remove the tab and reinsert it on the desired side. If you don't have a UHF antenna with a clear path between your receiver and TV or have an IR-only compatible receiver model, make sure your bottom remote tab is on UHF. Nice! We finished all steps on how to program your remote to your TV. Thanks for watching. For more support, visit bell.ca forward slash support or connect with our community forum at bell.ca forward slash forum.